because I pretty much covered it. Um, oh, I have to zoom out. I went over this, went over this, went over this, 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 this. Oh, okay. This is important. Look at what I named this. Registered legal notice in demand, always on your person in a protective pouch. You get, this is like a computer pouch I got from Staples. I'm sure if you have a Staples, they'll have this. It's it's just expensive. It's like 35 bucks just for this pouch, but it's awesome because it's legal. You know, uh, it could fit legal in there. And then you could take this to the post office or something, buy, buy another one because this one does not leave your dashboard, which you'll see here. That's where it's going to sit. If you want to get one, get one, uh, uh, you know, the color to match your dashboard, you could do that. But black, it's it's easy on the eyes. It doesn't bother you. This is where this lives right now. It lives right here. The next thing that's going to live right here is a uh, ticket book, you know, like a like a leather flip, flip top ticket book, just like, you know, like the meter maids, how they have that. Um, you know, you can get it out of nylon or stuff. I'm going to I'm going to you know, make one out of printer. I'm going to do that now because when they come to your window, you know, uh, you know, you, I've already discussed this in other videos. I'm not going to go through it, but you know, it's like, uh, you know, do you have a fourth amendment warrant? All right, well, don't move. And, uh, you know, keep your hands where I can see them. Uh, don't make any sudden movements. I'm going to write you out a, new, uh, a series of violations now and, um, and don't flee the scene of a commercial transaction. Because, you know, if he if he's like, all right, yeah, have it. No, 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 nah, nah, it's too late now. It's too late. Don't move. Stay right there because you're fleeing the you're you're, you're, you're uh, fleeing the location of a commercial transaction in progress. And I'm going to add that to my legal notice and demand because you're writing him out a ticket. I'll follow him. He chases you. You chase him like, no, sir, I have a violation. Follow him down to the precinct. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you got to do. Because that's what they do to us. We're going to do the exact same thing. If it gets a little dicey and you know where the precinct is, drive slowly. Don't rush. Drive straight to the precinct. Park right in the precinct. And then uh, say, I'd like to speak to your, uh, you know, your commanding officer. Write them all out tickets. All out tickets. That's it. So anything else? So this one I named registered legal notice and demand on your dashboard. And then the last one is, you know, the legal notice in demand. You know, he comes up, you're like, well, sir, uh, you know, well, um, you know, you could even say I'm on official business in matters of American national uh, uh, security. So uh, you would be, I thought about the word, you would be, you're, um, you're interfering in official business in matters of American national security. There's another, uh, there's another term. Let me give me a moment. I can think of it quickly. You're obstructing. They're obstructing justice. You're obstructing an invest. You're obstructing official business in matters of American national security. Um, uh, so I need you to stand right there and uh, show me some identification. Um, and uh, I need, you know, in other words, show me identification uh, with enough time for me to uh, inspect it, uh, inspect it thoroughly. So have them hold it up. Don't move. Keep it right there. You get all their information. I'm slow. I got to reach for my glasses. You know what I mean? You know, um, and then, you know, you write them out of violation, write them out of violation. That's it. This has got to be on your person. Keep it right in this yellow manila envelope. Um, you know, so it looks official. You know, this is a, a this is a uh, official registered national document. You don't want to say government because that's more United States corporation. But you, you I have to stop that too. So it, uh, this is an official registered. If it's copy if, at the moment, if it's copywritten and trademarked, you could say that too. If it's filed, you could say that too. You have to get your own lingo. Okay, this is an official registered national document, which I carry on official business in matters of American national security, filed with the uh, uh, filed with the uh, uh, county clerk of your county, Suffolk County, Long Island, New York. This document was served upon your 
um, boss at your precinct, wherever you live, at that precinct, you have to register mail it to them. So you have to serve them. Get a, a bold, um, what do they call those? The notary public that does process serving or get a process server. You process serve this to, the, to, to your local precinct and get all documentation. So this way, when he comes to the window, you're like, well, this was served to your boss, to your office on, and you have that on the back of this right here, you write it down in hand, you stick it right to it. You know, you stick the, uh, well, well, my records indicate that your boss has been served this document. So um, you're being ignorant to the law. So that's another, I'm gonna have to write you out of violation. Um, you know, violation of, uh, you know, uh, whatever, like you feel, I don't know, all the, you know, all, everything that's on the legal notice and demand by heart, you know, but sometimes I do. I sometimes, I, certain areas I do, certain areas I don't. I can't remember what, what, what violation that is. Were you like, oh, I'm gonna write you out of violation. All right. I think that's it. That sums it up. Because I mean, I'm really making this video about the uh, role of registered mail numbers, but it led to this. So, you know, give me a moment. Let me pause this and see if there's, I'm going to check all my windows, right, that I have and see if there's anything I can add. So let me stop share for a second. Let me pause this. Nope, I covered, uh, I covered everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, I covered this, how you search for, you know, you know, you, you search for your, uh, uh, the biggest post office near you. Okay. And then I went through all of these, um, you know, I went through these documents a little bit. I went through Karen's videos. This is what I follow. See secured party credit instructions by Karen. Um, there's really nothing to go over here. Um, That's it. All right, I'm gonna end this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see everybody in the, on the meeting tonight, uh, Sunday, September 5th, 2021. Stop share and end recording. All right, bye for now. Recording, stop recording.